343 has already pushed out an update that changes how progression works in Halo Infinite, but is it enough? Well, let's take a look at it. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Hey everybody, it's Kevin here. Welcome to the channel that keeps you up to date with everything going on with Halo. And today we have a nice little update to the progression within Halo Infinite. Progression has been a huge topic of discussion within the community here. So we're gonna take a look at these changes and see if it's enough to satisfy people's needs. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel and get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the official release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So the Halo support Twitter recently tweeted this out. If you guys aren't following them and you have a Twitter, you definitely want to do this because this is where you get a lot of updates about Halo Infinite or you can just subscribe to the channel, I'm just saying. They say it here is Halo Infinite players can now earn XP by completing match made games. The play one game daily challenge is worth 50 XP each, which is kind of weird. We'll get into that a little bit later. The challenge deck is also being updated to better serve players of all skill levels. The Halo Infinite team has also resolved issues with the following challenges, which were causing progress to not be tracked, but challenges like the heat of the moment, it bears repeating, George would be proud, and Ultra Tech. Additionally, XP boosts will now last one hour rather than 30 minutes. The in-game tooltip may continue to say 30 minutes as their expected duration, but the boost timer will start from 60 minutes once activated. Here's a cool one here for you guys. As a result of these changes, all progress on active daily and weekly challenges will need to be reset. However, all players who sign in between November 23rd and 30th will receive this week's ultimate reward, the Sigil Mark 7 Visor. Now remember when I said that having each daily challenge of one game played equal 50 XP kind of interesting? Well, that's because in a video I put out today talking about how to rank up fast within Halo Infinite, the play one game challenge was 100 XP. So are we getting more play one game challenges, but they're worth half as much now? I think what this tweet from Unishek kind of clears up a little bit, saying to address the feedback on battle pass progression, we will be making targeted tunings to our model later this week, which ended up being today. To start, we'll be adding play one game challenges to help make sure you consistently progress through the battle pass by playing matches the way you want. Because when I look here in game, it says complete a match to earn 50 XP, where previously it was play a match and get 100 XP. So I'm kind of confused on this. Maybe we just once we get a chance to actually sit down and play, that will give some better clarity of understanding how this whole thing works. The way that Unishek kind of worded the whole thing made it sound like this 50 XP game, play one game is gonna be like something that maybe just one of those will be able to play or earn, or maybe earn five of those, then the 100 XP one comes in, then the play two games, play three games, play four games comes in. Unishek does say here, that we'll be watching all these changes closely to make sure they have a positive impact we all want on your progression. This is only our first step. We are committed to continue evolving these systems, but it will take time. Thanks for joining our beta and keep the feedback coming. So I think the big question now is, is this enough? for people to be satisfied with the way XP works. I don't think this is gonna be the final change of how XP is gonna work in Halo Infinite, that's for sure. But is it a step in the right direction? I absolutely agree. The thing is, with the way the systems work right now, we're gonna be seeing incremental changes to a better experience with the Battle Pass. It's not gonna be an overnight change where it sucked one night and now it's absolutely perfect. And it's, not, it's just not gonna work like that because they have to find a nice balance of keeping players engaged and making sure people keep playing the game. So you have to kind of like trickle in these unlocks, but at a certain rate where it feels satisfying enough to where you feel like you're making progress. Previously, you, everyone was feeling like we didn't make any progress really. I know a lot of people have been clamoring for some per match XP, and I think you will probably eventually get something very similar to that in through the challenges with that daily challenge of play a single game because then it goes from play a single game to play two games to get xp play three games play four games play five games it's that way just to kind of slow down people from just like plowing through the battle pass in some capacity so then the kind of keeps everyone at an even playing field essentially it's 343's way to kind of nerf the streamers in a way though i do feel like all the same techniques you will be needing to utilize when it comes to ranking up in halo infinite you still need to apply that 
as BTB is a really ineffective way to gain XP, guys, and complete your challenges, unless there's a very specific BTB challenge for that you need to complete, because the matches take way longer than arena matches, and you still earn the same amount of XP either way. So you want to play matches that are shorter, like in arena, so that you can gain that same amount of XP sooner. And that same tip I provide in my How to Rank Up Fast video about you wanting to utilize that double XP as soon as you start playing, so you get those per match XP payouts doubled as well which really help out when it comes to progression but this issue that kind of comes with me we're like sometimes i might just be able to hop on for like a game or two or something like that during the like break while i'm working from home and so do i take up those single game xp dealings and not get double xp on them just for me to enjoy a couple games it's actually kind of stopping me from playing the game honestly it makes me want to kind of make sure i have at least an hour block out of my schedule so i can sit down and play a bunch of halo get that rank up because it's still pretty grindy even after these updates but like i said this is going to be a process to get to a good spot this is pretty much the reason why we're having a beta at the moment can you imagine if this was when the game officially launched and it was like this so i do expect to see some more incremental changes coming to progression in halo infinite as we get closer and closer to the official release date of december 8th we're not going to be seeing any overnight fixes because that's not how you fix these type of things with the systems that they have right now at the moment. Think of it as like a dish, right? And you eat it and you're like, oh, it's a little sour or doesn't taste right. Add a little salt, taste again. How's that? Maybe add a little pepper, taste it again, you know, and then you get to the right spot. That's kind of how we're going to see this process when it comes to the development of progression in Halo Infinite. It's going to be an incremental change, not an overnight change. And community director Sketch even kind of echoes these same kind of ideas as well, saying also talking about the update here that there's been changes through the Halo Infinite updates when it comes to the progression, saying that this is an initial step to help address some key feedback. More robust updates are going to take time. We greatly appreciate all your support and keep bringing in the feedback. I will certainly keep an eye on the story as it progresses guys this is going to be seeing more changes most likely to the progression before the official release and also after the official release as well because halo infinite is a live service game and they three for three have kind of just built up the game in a way to where if they need to make changes like this they can be agile and quick i mean these changes are already coming into the game the game launched on monday and it's thursday where previously in Halo 5, the game was just not set up to do that. And so it would have taken much longer for these changes to be implemented. But now the way that the slip space engine is working within Halo Infinite and the way that the game is modeled, that these changes can come around rather quickly. But make sure to log in between November 23rd and November 30th, guys, to get your weekly challenge visor obtained. And so then you won't be missing out on everything that just got reset today. So if you're new to the channel, miss any content for me recently, check out this playlist right here. I've been uploading like a madman daily on Halo Infinite goodness here, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out.